how differently does a top 100 Splatoon player think or play in comparison to your average player? Now, spoiler alert, this is a compilation video, but it shows a lot of key things that I feel like a bunch of you guys can learn. Another spoiler alert, we're playing the H3 Nozzle Nose once again, but I think that's also a big vital part of this specific video. The H3 Nozzle Nose is already known to be one of those much harder weapons in Splatoon 3 in comparison to so many like the Thrift Tugal and the Stamper or anything like that. It's not that it's a terrible weapon. I mean, it might feel terrible when you're using it, but it's probably more so that it's just, it feels really inconsistent and slow. For someone who's been playing this weapon for the last nine years in their Splatoon career, I still have quite a good grip over this specific weapon. Maybe of course it could be that I have experience with the weapon, but also I think it's more of a thing of like how I'm thinking about the certain situations I'm in and how I'm going to use my weapon or how is my weapon work best in those types of situations. And I feel like in this specific compilation video, there's going to be certain moments where I'm using the H3, but I'm using it in a way where you wouldn't even think some of the stuff was possible. Like certain ways I hit things, certain ways I position myself, certain ways I somehow survive almost the impossible. So that's what you're gonna see today. I also talk a little bit about sensitivities and all that type of stuff. And like how, like now I'm using 5.5, which is crazy to say. Maybe I make a video about it explaining a little bit more, but if you guys do like this video, make sure to of course like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already for more Splatoon stuff. So. Appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Right, we haven't done tower control. Why did you have to win pass? It's not that we had to win. It's just that we were going to win. Impressive how I'm playing with the nozzle nose. Yes, 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 I decided to play it again today. Oh my God. I'm in somebody's thing, dude. All right. Okay, I could probably get this guy. Oh. He didn't die off that. Oh my god. There we go, nice. Does wearing gear for fashion and not the ability to make you throw as a teammate? Yes. If you don't look good, your teammates have to look at you. And that's a distraction enough to throw them off. So make sure you wear good drip. All right. Okay, nice. Oh, I killed the range. Oh wait, it's not a range blaster, it's just a regular custom. Nice. And then the Gnaw is coming behind us here. Okay, never mind. I got him. Alright, I am going to get you. Yes. Alright. That's beautiful. Have I seen the PS5 Pro? Yep. What a big waste of money that is, isn't it? Why are you using the H3 nozzle nose in the first place? Why not? I don't like this position actually. It's lying here. Got him. I saw the sliver. It's high risk, but like in a, a meta where we have tactic cooler, where everyone spawns in quickly anyway, it's like the reward is like yeah, minuscule. <laughs> to be honest, it's it's kind of like extremely high risk. It's not even just high risk. It's just extremely high risk. And then you get, I guess you get a bit of rewards, you know. It just feels like with most things, it's really risky. <laughs> it's really, really risky. So fascinating that you have such steady aim, even though you play on plus five. It's, you're so shaky. Yeah, I've been kind of slowly bumping it up. And I was playing on four or five for a really long time. And I got a like... I got like a super good grip on 4-5. I think there's like only a benefit for me going up to 5-5 five because five, I can be steady, but like I also got like so much speed at the same time, you know? You know? Where's 96? I need to know first before I try anything. Always played 5-5 back in Splatoon 1. 
Five five in Splatoon one and five five in Splatoon two and three are like two different five fives. Five five is like the equivalent of using zero in Splatoon one or or zero five somewhere around there. It's nowhere close to like Splatoon one five five five. That one is insanely quick. The stick will be different, but the gyro is is roughly around the the same sensitivity. Wait, are you telling me you can adjust the speed of stick and not only gyro? Yeah, you can have a slow stick and slow gyro, or you can have fast gyro and slow stick. A lot of people like to use fast stick and then and slow gyro. But I've, I've come to find recently that I'm more consistent when the stick and gyro are the same speeds. But that's just me. I think you can get a lot more dumb of the L3. Especially since it also has cr like Kraken as well. Nice. Bath. Woo! Shot my spawn. That works. He has no idea. Well, that's a lot there, man. Alright. Safe, but I'm not safe. Cool. Oh my god, dude. We do whatever whatever it means to survive, you know. <laughs> I do live in England though. What's who's Harry Potter? Who is that guy? Oh, oh man, if I kept that up. <laughs> Don't watch for when people are alive. Oh, I shot them both, I think. <laughs> 